All right, September 15th, 2023. Finally made it back up to Granddaddy Basin for my annual trip up here. This is the latest I've been up here. Um, hopefully the weather will hold out. The weatherman says the uh, weather's supposed to be good. There's the trail map. Granddaddy Basin trail number 74. We're gonna go in and camp near Granddaddy Lake. Uh, this adventure is gonna be a little different than the others. We're gonna go explore some uh, lakes that I haven't seen before in that basin and some no-name ponds and hopefully we can find ourselves a fish or two. Now uh, this is a solo adventure for me this time. Planning for two nights, but could cut it short, you know, if I need to, but that's the plan. Uh, it's beautiful weather right now. It's in the 50s. It feels really nice. Perfect weather for hiking. So, hope it doesn't get too too cold tonight. All right, five minutes in, we've made it to the wilderness boundary already. I don't know about you, but I think that stick should hold that boulder up just fine. All right, looks like we got ourselves some raspberries. Oh, bonus. Oh yeah, look at those. Yummy, yummy. Dang, I almost forgot how steep that first half mile of this trail is. Got me off and puffing. Wow, look at the size of that mushroom. It's like dinner plate big. I mean, that thing is huge. I've been seeing flowers this late in the season, it's just Awesome. Well, all right. Got last little spurt and made it to Hayden. Hades Pass. Whew. Dang, I started getting a little dizzy. I had to hydrate and have a little bit of sugar. Looks like the sun's about ready to tuck behind the hill there, so won't be too long. We'll be at uh, we'll be at camp. I'm just gonna check out the view here, and that's pretty crazy to see water in this pond right here too, because it's usually dried up midsummer, but it's plum full, so that's good. We had a good water year. Granddaddy Mountain. And here's Hades Pass. These little ponds, they sure do put off a good reflection. My goodness, look at that. That is spectacular. God, this deep blue sky. It's just awesome. Well, all right, well, here's our first good glimpse of uh, Granddaddy Lake. All right, this is the part where I go off trail. All right, let the off trail adventure begin. like a good enough place to camp. See if my old spot's available. I think sure it is. Nobody's here, so should be awesome. All right, home sweet home. I'm going to drop back right here. This is this is granddaddy camp for the couple of nights. 
nice spot we've used many times before. This is waiting here for me to use again. Heck yeah. All right, well, I'm gonna get some dinner in me. Well, I'm hungry. It's about a two hour hike in. It's five, let's see, 6.30 now, so I need to get some food in me. And then I'm gonna go down and fish and catch the evening bite on granddaddy and hopefully land some good ones. Well, all right, first things first, I'd like to get my bedding set up and in the tent because my bag is all compressed down here, super tight. I need to have time for that down in the bag to loft up. So I like to get it out and let it get fluffed up while I make dinner and do other chores before bed. And slow it up, it's ready to go. All right, now I'm gonna get my bag. So I got my pillow, that's a game changer. That makes for a comfy night's sleep when you have your head on a nice pillow like at home. And it's a blow up one as well, just takes a few puffs. It's a nice pillow, perfect. And my sleeping bag, I need to get it out. Got the Nemo Disco. 15, so 15 degrees of rated bag should do me good tonight. I think it's only going to get down in the 30s. Um, so I'll just let that get fluffed up, and now that that's done, I'm going to go make dinner. All right, well, there's a bear hang that should keep those bears interested. I, know, I don't expect any bears, but at least it'll keep the squirrels occupied. Well, it looks like we got ourselves a nice sunset on the clouds there. I'm going to go down and see if I can't throw my line in the water before dark real quick. Maybe have some luck today. Well, one thing's for sure. Sure is turning cold quick. <laughs> it's not going to be too long before winter sets in up here. It's it's already to the point where I want to put some put some gloves on. But Granddaddy Lake. Wow, look at that tree just busted to pieces. There's a shard that's in the ground right there. That's crazy. I wonder if it got hit with lightning or wind or what. But wow, that's. Uh, Dang, that's impressive. That tree was even alive. Holy crap, it's just shredded. Wow. That is amazing. I mean, look at that hunk of wood right there. It just busted apart. Dang. Impressive. It's a perfect time of night. Fish are all surfacing. I bet there's some big lunkers in there. A lot of water and a lot of mosquitoes to eat. Heck yeah. Well, I was able to fish for about 30 minutes. Got several hard hits on the Jake slur, so that's promising. I couldn't. Hooked one for a minute, but he got off. But anyway, I'm getting to the point where I can't see anymore, so I need to go hit the headlamp and head on up to camp. All right. Back at camp, 
did a little fishing, had some good solid hard strikes. So there's some lunkers in there. Uh, can't wait to latch on to one tomorrow. Anyway, them camp. Brought myself up a Coke Zero. Celebrate getting out in the woods. This is Solo Adventures. Christie's back, still not feeling 100% to carry a backpack, so she's pretty limited to day hikes for now. But it's getting better each day, so hopefully she'll she'll be good again for next season. I don't know that she'll get out backpack in this season, but I might get out a few more times before the snow flies. Anyway, just enjoying myself here in camp, and it's a beautiful night. No weather. It's a little chilly. That's why I'm by the fire. But uh, stars are out. You can see the Milky Way. It's just beautiful. Anyway, I don't have the right equipment to capture that. But uh, I'm just a, I don't know, I'm not a photographer. <laughs> but I like to backpack and fish. So that's why I'm here. Anyway, we're going to chill by the fire and then turn in for the evening. Well, all right, it's a Saturday morning. I'm gonna hit the trail and see if I can explore a few new lakes and uh, catch some fish. Uh, didn't have any luck last night other than a couple of hard strikes that were very promising. So I'm sure before the end of the day, we'll get into some fish. Um, got camp all buttoned up. I got my bear hang back in there um, just in case something wanders through here. And I got two trail cameras set up, one over here one opposite the meadow over there in case any anyone or anything comes in and disturbs the camp I'll be able to see what it is I heard some grass chomping in the night so I'm sure I got something on trail camera that was grazing in the meadow here um, But anyway, it was a cold, chilly night. I mean, I tossed a turd all night. That uh, I had to put my seat pad underneath my torso uh, just to kind of insulate me from the ground a little bit. Uh, it looks like I'm going to need to get a better R-value pad for these colder adventures. Uh, the, I just brought my summer pad, but that was a mistake. Anyway, so it was a little chilly, but I survived the night. Uh, we're going to go enjoy some of this sunshine that's just starting to lighten up the forest. So, all right, off we go. When I say chilly, I mean it. Look at the frost on that, uh, <clears throat> on the grass there in the meadow. It's a frosty morning. Chilly. All right, we'll be back. There's kind of a game trail here we're going to go down to the lake with. We're going to start our adventure. All right, well, here's that camp I found last summer when I was up here. And that little makeshift uh, bushcraft shelter over there looks like it's still hanging on. Looks like they had to modify it and fix it because it was half caved in. But there it is. Yeah, it must have been a horse camp. It looks like they left their halter there for the horses. It's, oh, bridle. It's got the bit and everything. Hmm. Well, dang. Oh, my. Good morning, Granddaddy Lake. Wow. It's pristine, no wind. Beautiful.
All right, I've worked my way along. I was off trail to get to the trail, and I found the trail, followed it for a bit. Now I'm back off trail again. <clears throat> There's this little no-name pond or lake over here I want to check out. I don't know if it's got any fish in it or not, but you never know unless you try. My guess is, is if it does, nobody's ever fished it. There'll be some big ones in there. Never know until you explore them. About a half mile through the thicket there and I'll be there. That looks kind of like a butt. Reminds me I gotta do some off-trail duties here. All right, well, that off-trail scramble wasn't too bad. Parts of it weren't real good, but the rest of it wasn't bad at all. Oh, I found our lake. It's not real big. Looks plenty deep to support fish though. Wow, look at the reflections on that thing. Holy cow. It's beautiful. Just saw a salamander right there. Whoop. There's a salamander in the bottom right there. Hmm. There's more salamanders right there swimming along. There's two more right there. All right, this pond's looking like a bust. But I'm gonna break the pole out anyway and just toss it out there and see what happens. Who knows, maybe I'll catch a salamander. <laughs> All right, Salamander Pond, strikeout number one. All right, heading off to my next lake. Shouldn't be too long. I gotta get off trail, get on trail again. And then I can go off trail again. <laughs> anyway, I'm just checking these Lakes off one by one, seeing which ones have good fish and which ones have salamanders and which ones I get skunked at. Anyway, Salamander Pond, number one, adios. When I'm doing these off-trail uh, adventures, I try to find these game paths to follow because they know the best way through the thicket. Gives you the path of least resistance. As long as you're pointing in the general direction of where you're going, you shouldn't have too much issue. Well, I'm just getting a little bit closer back to the trail. Looks like I got sight of Lake Betsy. All right, I'm just coming into it. My next little no-name off-trail pond. This one's been good to me before, so I'm going to give it a try. What the heck? All right, I did see fish rise already, so hopefully. Man, those reflections are awesome. All right, just saw a bunch of little baby, baby fish surfacing. Nothing. Nothing taking the jake, and I didn't want to get a fly out yet, so uh, no luck at that little pond. Just move on to the next lake. All right, while I'm in the area, I just as well explore an oldie but a goodie, Mohawk Lake, pretty lake. Well, surprisingly, no luck on Mohawk Lake. I mean, it's... There's some fish surfacing here and there, but they're all in the middle, and I can't reach them. This is like, need to get out there with a float tube or something. I'm seeing no activity close to shore where I can reach them. Tried a few spots here and there. I'll try a few more, but I'm going to continue my quest to more lakes and more fish, hopefully, because <laughs> I'm getting skunked. Anyway. Here we go. Yep, 
Yeah, this soft trail area is loaded with the grouse berries. Super good. Oh, heck yeah, found another off trail lake, no name, lake, pond, whatever you want to call it. Super picturesque. It's not real big. Haven't seen any fish activity yet. But... And that's no good. More salamanders. Dang it. Well, I'm not sure if those are blueberries or not, but... Sure are a lot of them. They're all through here. Here's a close-up look of them. Well, that was a fun adventure. Climbing up to this lake to find out it's full of salamanders. Anyway, no fish that I can see. Tried it a few casts anyway. Um, anyway, I'm gonna have lunch. It's about lunch time. And then I'll finish out my loop and head back to camp and cow, maybe I can have some better luck on my way back. My goodness, this has been a no luck day so far. Better get some calories in me though, I'm getting a little dizzy. All right, on the menu for lunch today, I got my freeze dried strawberry oat cashew bar. A little bar, fruit roll up. Well, shit tied me over till dinner. One thing about it for sure, sure is pretty up in this high country. Big old boulder mountains and it's super green still, really wet. But yeah, it's pretty up here. Pretty amazing. There's still some snow hanging on up there in the shady spots. All right, I found my next lake. No name lake. I came in a little higher than expected, so I need to find a path down. This looks pretty clear here as long as it doesn't cliff out. Now that is one pretty lake. I don't see any activity on the lake, but man, it is pretty. Holy cow, look at that. Well, all right. I fished this lake for a hot minute. I threw everything I had at it. This little ledgy edge right here looks really good. So I jigged it for a while with a bunch of different jigs. Jake's lure, Rapala. Did everything but a fly because I didn't see anything surfacing for bugs so I didn't do the fly but I did everything else looks super promising but nothing man look at that reflection wow well all right made it to another off Trail Lake. This one's, uh, I think, Marcel Lake. There's another one out of sight behind it there. Anyway, I'm going to keep off trailing until I get over here to another lake I've been wanting to get back to, and that's Farney Lake. So it's over up on that bench right there, so I got a little bit of bushwhacking to get there. Well, all right, well, that was Marcel Lake. My route took me along the shoreline, so I did fish a few times and uh, had several followers every time. None of them would take the lure, but anyway, being I'm over here, I'm going to check out this uh, sunny lake that's right here at the outlet of it. Maybe it's a little better, I don't know. At least I had some fish interested in me finally. Dang, it's been a tough love day on fishing. Holy cow. I've seen some beautiful country, though, on these off-trail routes. But holy cow, the fishing 
Whew, I'm getting good at fishing. I just need to start getting good at catching. Holy cow. All right, I see the next lake. I'm gonna try it before I terminate my route and start heading back because it's getting late in the day. Anyway, having a good time exploring some new areas, so that's fun. Wow, another pretty lake. This one's Sunny Lake. It is picturesque. Look at that. Fish or no fish, these views and scenery is spectacular. Well, finally I hooked one. Golly, in this sunny lake here, I finally finally hooked one, got him partway in, and he got off, but had a few followers beyond that, but nothing else. So I'm going to move on out and head to another lake. It's a little bit after two, and I'm going to be working my way back to camp because I left there about 8.30 this morning. and So it's going to take me a minute to get back there. If I've been six hours to here, so that's going to get me back at dark at that pace. So, anyway, I should be back before then because I'm going to bail on the last part of my route so I can get back in time for dinner. Anyway, I'm going to hot foot it over here to Barney Lake, and then there's a trail from there all the way back to camp. And that's that's my new plan. Anyway, it's been fun seeing a lot of pretty country. Areas I haven't seen in here before, so pretty neat. Oh yeah, round two on the berries. Heck yeah. Well alright, that was a bit of a off trail jaunt to get here, but I have found it. <clears throat> Last time I was here, I'm catching grayling. So let's take a look at the lake and see if we see any activity. And yet again, another picturesque lake. Oh my goodness. The scenery today has been spectacular. Oh my gosh, look at that. So beautiful. Nothing like having a lake to yourself. Well, no luck yet, but I'm beginning to think it winter killed because see all the dead fish in the water there? There's three there and a couple more over here. Either that or they poisoned the lake, I'm not sure, but there's definitely dead fish right there. So it might have winter killed, I don't know. I'll keep trying. Finally, the spell has been broken. I had to come to my honey hole to finally catch a fish. <laughs> 